hi guys welcome back to my channel today i've created this makeup look using only drugstore and affordable makeup so i basically wanted to do something really simple that you can wear for an everyday basis or however wherever you want to take it to and i also bought these brushes from uh, i don't remember if it was from aliexpress or ebay but i'm gonna try and find them out and link them down below and if i won't find them then maybe i'll just link something similar but it's basically 20 six brushes for $24 so you have all the brushes that you'll need and for this look I didn't even use that much brushes so you know it's gonna be very simple and very very easy so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it helps me out a lot and that's it let's jump into the video okay so let's start the first thing I did was my eyebrows and my eyelids. I did it off camera just to save a bit of time. So for my eyebrows, I used the Maybelline New York Eye Studio, just like a dip pomade in the shade Black is Black. And then to conceal my eyelids and to curve my eyebrows, I used this Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Concealer. So the next thing I'm going to do is prep my skin. This is a very important stage. You really don't want to skip that. Um, for that, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Correcting Day Moisturizer. And it's really important to moisturize your skin and hydrate it regardless of your skin type. Obviously, if you have a more dry skin, then you might consider using a heavier moisturizer. And I'm also going to moisturize my lips. So now I'm going to do my eyes. Now for my eyes, I'm going to use this Essence All About Nudes eyeshadow. This is the O2 Nudes. I'm going to take this small brush and take the lightest shade, pack it on. the excess and I'm gonna put it on my brow bone. Then I'm gonna take a bigger fluffier brush and I'm gonna take this um, lightest brown shade just to make it the transition color. By the way, I don't know if I said that in the beginning, but after I concealed my eyelids, I did um, set everything with a super blendable powder by True Match. Then I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm gonna use this um, middle tone brown. And I'm gonna put it right here. I'm going to create this C shape. blend it in. Then I'm going to take this darkest brown and do the same thing. Now for the inner corner, I'm going to use this palette by Jade. Look at all these beautiful, beautiful shimmery shades. I'm going to take this color right here, if you can see, this one, and I'm going to put it on my inner corner. And then 
if you want to make this look a bit more bold then you can always take the brush spray some setting spray and then dip into the eyeshadow again and do the same thing but I don't have a setting spray which is affordable so I'm just gonna use water it works the same and you're just gonna take your brush dip it and then what you want to do is just wipe it just like that and then go back to the palette and take the eyeshadow again and don't worry it's not gonna ruin your eyeshadow and then you go back in and look how much more pigmented it is And then you want to drag it all the way to the middle of the eyelid and a bit further and go back with the same blending brush and blend so you won't create any harsh and another reason why I like to do my eyes before I do my face is just because if there is any fallout or if you made a bit of a mistake you can always go with a makeup wipe and and now I'm going to take this mascara by L'Oreal this is the mega volume in extra black So now I'm going to do the rest of my face and after I finish with my face I'm going to go back to the eye and finish the eye look. So today to prime I'm going to use the infallible mattifying base. This is the mattifying, oh, mattifying primer from L'Oreal. I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand. That is a lot. take this super blendable foundation by True Match. Now I'm going to take this brush with a flat head and blend it all in. Now I'm going to go in with the concealer and it's the same concealer that I use to conceal my eyelids. I'm just going to put a little bit because a little goes a long way. This applicator is not the best. Take a small blending brush. Blend. Okay, so to set everything, I'm going to use a big fluffing brush. And I'm going to take this super blendable powder by True Match. To contour and define, I'm going to use this palette by Caroline Perrault. And these are the beautiful colors that you can find. This is the lightest shade and then you have a warm brown and then you have a lighter brown. And here you have, it's like a dark brown but it's more gray tone. So I'm gonna take this brush right here. And first thing I'm going to do is warm up my face. I'm gonna use the warm brown. on my temples, my forehead, and my cheekbones. Then I'm gonna use this darker brown, more cool tone, and 
put it on my cheekbone or underneath my cheekbone. Just to create a shadow. And then I'm gonna take a different brush, take the lightest color. Then I'm going to take a smaller brush and contour my nose. So I'm going to mix these two. Now I'm going to go back to the eyes just to finish the look. So I'm going to go back to the Essence palette and I'm going to take the darkest brown and I'm going to place it just on my lower lash line. And blend it in. And then for my inner corner, I really want to make it pop, so I'm going to take the same shade that I took before and place it on my tear dot. And For blush, I'm going to take this beautiful blush. This is by MAC Factor. I'm going to take this brush right here and again this is very pigmented and dust it off and put a little bit. Now for lips I'm going to use this Maybelline Color Dream Instant Velvet Lip Pencil. This is the shade. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.